Homeward Bound, July 15 Character Building There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Romans 8, verse 1 True education does not ignore the value of scientific knowledge or literary acquirements. But above information, it values power. Above power, goodness. Above intellectual acquirements, character. The world does not so much need people of great intellect as of noble character. It needs men and women in whom ability is controlled by steadfast principle. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright. True education imparts this wisdom. It teaches the best use not only of one, but of all our powers and acquirements. Thus it covers the whole circle of obligation, to ourselves, to the world, and to God. Character building is the most important work ever entrusted to human beings, and never before was its diligent study so important as now. Never was any previous generation called to meet issues so momentous. Never before were young men and young women confronted by perils so great as confront them today. At such a time as this, what is the trend of the education given? To what motive is appeal most often made? To self-seeking. Much of the education given is a perversion of the name. In true education, the selfish ambition, the greed for power, the disregard for the rights and needs of humanity that are the curse of our world find a counter-influence. God's plan of life has a place for every human being. All are to improve their talents to the utmost, and faithfulness in doing this, be the gifts few or many, entitles one to honor. In God's plan, there is no place for selfish rivalry. Those who measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves among themselves are not wise. Whatever we do is to be done as of the ability which God giveth. It is to be done heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Precious the service done and the education gained in carrying out these principles. But how widely different is much of the education now given? From the child's earliest years, it is an appeal to emulation and rivalry, It fosters selfishness, the root of all evil. Education, pages 225 and 226.